Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So this is someone who's showing up as very attractive. Um, this is someone who's very confident, passionate. Um, there's this energy of really being held in high regard if you're being viewed as the Queen of Wands. It's like someone is drawn to you um, for, for more than just your physical appearance, even though that is part of it. But there's also something about the way you carry yourself. It's it's very attractive and it's pulling someone towards you. You're also being seen as very desirable, like having admirers. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, you have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, the Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the Tower, Mars Energy. Okay, so you could have had a Tower moment with someone. That with the Tower being here, it's like... Something could have fallen apart or you could have found out something that was quite shocking and it affected the foundation of a connection. Um, it could have even led to an abrupt ending or a breakup. And, you know, with the Page of Cups being next to it, it's like someone is really thinking back on you. It's like they're remembering you fondly. They're fantasizing about you, daydreaming. Um, it can also be that they want a fresh start here. They want to, uh, you know, looking at the situation with a fresh set of eyes. But at the same time, it's like, kind of being impractical with the page of cups being next to the tower they want to revive something but they're not really focusing on the issues instead they're trying to focus on the good times so they could be kind of deluding themselves a bit you know romanticizing the past or the situation and again ignoring the red flags or the things that led to the tower moments they are just really feeling very uh, romantically towards you uh, they could be remembering how attractive you are and, you know, it's like they are coming towards you wanting to re-spark things. But again, it's like they're not addressing the issues that led to the tower. Um, okay, so let's clarify these cards. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So someone could be coming towards you. It could be a message, a communication. It could even be an invitation to go out, like a romantic invitation here. But again, it's, there's something about this person's approach. It could be premature or it's like it's immature. Uh, but there's something here about them wanting to re-spark something in a casual way. But the way things may have ended with you guys or you guys at, the, at this time, you could not be on. It's like you're not on casual terms, but they are taking a very light approach to the situation. OK, so let's see. OK, we have the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy, the emperor, Aries energy. And the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy. So you could be suspicious of this person. You could be, you know, unsure about them because they are being too lighthearted about something that's quite serious. Um, the Emperor is showing, though, that you are empowered. You have the upper hand in the situation because it's like they are wanting to, you know, re-spark something here with you. But it's like you have some sort of information that you didn't have before. You see something more clearly now than you did before. You're not naive anymore. It's like something really came to light to you. And it's like, you're not dealing with this person in the same way that you did before. Um, but this person is hoping that you would be open to some sort of beginning here. And we are seeing some sort of small communication from them. But the 10 of wands here, it does look like there's still some sort of burden here, some baggage here that still needs to be addressed and unpacked here. This person is trying to avoid having to do that though. It's like, they just wanna bypass you know move past that um but it's like with the emperor being here um it doesn't look like you're gonna let them get away with that 
um, you may want to address the truth of the situation here because this person I do see communication coming in from them okay so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you cancer So we have a time for healing, balsamic moon. So you could be trying to heal from something with this tower moment here. Um, you know, guys may even heal in different ways. Um, there's an energy here of someone trying to avoid having to do the inner work, the deep work. It's like they, they just want to move past it and kind of, um, you know, pretend like it didn't happen. It's like there's something they're trying to ignore, but it's it's hard to ignore. You know, once you see this, it's unseeable. You know, it's it's no, it's not unseeable, but it's like it's it's hard to unsee what you've seen with the moon being the reverse. And you could actually be trying to heal from this in a genuine way, but this person is taking a a very shallow, superficial approach here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this person could be making some sort of an offer here, but it's almost like putting a band-aid on some sort of a wound here. It's like they're trying to pretend like something didn't happen and just get back to being in some sort of a strong connection here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have pansy, sweet thoughts, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies, that's for thoughts. So this person is very plagued by their thoughts of you. In fact, with the tower and the ten of wands, it's almost burdensome, like their thoughts are overwhelming and they, they, they don't know what to do about it. It's like this person is taking a very immature approach here because they, they, they overthink this and they also fear that this tower could have been the end. So I do see them kind of like rushing in and, and trying to re-spark things. Um, but it's it's in a you know it's like in a premature way because they're very plagued by their thoughts here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. So we have surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So someone's coping mechanisms need to be replaced here. Um, there is an energy of someone, it's like they're taking a very, they, they offer or their communication, their next move may lack some depth and insight. So there is a need to really kind of approach it differently or at least uh, question this person a bit, challenge them a bit because they are showing up in a very immature energy here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.